So we're here in Bogota, Colombia, and we're about to go see Miguel Caballero, who's been called the Armored Armani. He makes bulletproof gear, but he makes fashion-forward lightweight bulletproof gear, so a nice blazer or an overcoat and even a bulletproof tie. The basic deal is for bodyguards and for kind of VIPs, for people who want to look good and somewhat sharp and be comfortable while they're being shot at. You would think that with the direction of world events, Miguel will probably be very busy for a very long time. So we're gonna go talk to Miguel, see how everything is made, and see if he won't let us take some of it for a test drive. So this is the tailoring area of Miguel's shop. All these women are working on bulletproof vests and shirts and jackets for United Nations, for various presidents, uh, for local police outfits, uh, pretty much anyone who thinks it's a reasonable possibility that they'll get shot. Where did the idea of incorporating elements of actual fashion and design rather than just your standard bulky? We have to study what is the end of the user of this type of clothing to design the better option to these people. We have external use, internal use for men's, for women's, hot climate, cold climate, formal wear and casual wear. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will be everyday streetwear at some point in the not so distant future that everyone will want to feel protected just in case? Maybe after the September 11 or March 11, mm -hmm. all the countries has a risk and not only in Colombia. Jesus Christ. When I begin with my company, I have only to think in the VIP mm -hmm. or the bodyguards people. Yeah. But in all these years, we think all the people is change, and the world is change. Now, normal people in, in any country can buy something like this. And so does this one have plates in there or no? Yeah, yeah. the plates too. Oh, wow. If you are going to see the movie in the theater, and you have a risk walking around it between your home and the theater, maybe you will need something like this. How do you it's, think that? it's about as heavy as a wool sweater. Almost frighteningly so. That's any, any person in any place of the world. In Mexico, we have a boutique. Hugo Boss, Ferrari, BMW, the same street. Mm -hmm. That's the first bulletproof fashion boutique of the world. And maybe we will open in many countries something like this concept. And we've heard that all employees get shot. Is that is that part of the deal? Everyone everyone tests it out. Yeah, that's true. All the people from the company and especially of the commercial people has to receive the test. I sh I shoot all all my employees, and I receive in two times the uh, test. Yeah. Yes, and on this way, like like a philosophy of quality control. Now we're in the ballistics area here and. We're seeing where they kind of test out all the vests. So apparently the deal is they drop the material here, and then this plaster background here serves as kind of a, a fill-in for the body so they can see how much impact, whether the bullet's puncturing in too far or whatnot, based on the marks on the plaster. Did you get shot? Do all employees get shot? Yes. Really? Yes. That's part of the, the rule? That's yeah, rule. this is the induction. We're gonna take it for a test ride. Let's fucking shoot me, Miguel. How do you do that? How can the, the weight be so markedly decreased, so, so much smaller? We have a product for the military people, yeah. the strong I tried it on. and it's the heavy. Yeah. In the other solution of the BIP, we have to guarantee 100% flexible and less weight with the same comfort but with the same protection. And we have to work in the same time, all the time, to develop a product in this, in this way. Kimono. This is for special design for um, Steven Seagal. So this, Steven Seagal came and said, I, what's his, who's shooting at Steven Seagal? Do you know? Wow. He's a big yeah. motherfucker, isn't he? Yeah. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> so this is, Steven Seagal said, I'm really into this design. Can you guys make this? And this was custom made for Steven Seagal. Yeah, we can make or design it whatever you want. Yeah, super light. But this, are, this, is, this has the padding in it, right? Yeah. So I, I look that this is very uh, 
flexible. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. You sure yeah. that stops bullets? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Steven Seagal. <laughs> Who are some of the other names that we would know? We have many title clients in the world. Ambassador of Colombia in Spain. She has something like this sample. The prince from Spain and his wife, Leticia, oh, okay. to make a hunting there. The president from Peru, Alan Garcia, the new president. The president from Colombia, Alvaro Uribe. He has a Guayabera, the tropical teacher, and the same, the president from Venezuela, mm -hmm. and the president from Brazil, uh, Lula. Where else are your big markets? In this moment, a big risk in Latin America, and after we will have a big market in USA, yeah. because you can find many type of targets in USA. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the hip hop people, maybe was will be a, a big market. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go into the boutique in Mexico yeah. and just, I, I needed something. What does an average jacket go for? It's between $390 to $3,900. It depends on the level of protection to a stop pistol or revolver or subgun machine like an Uzi mm -hmm. or MP5, right. Mac 10. And we are make a real demonstration with you and after you feel good. Okay, my friends, I will shoot you. Only we need this space. If you have any mistake to make this type of clothing, you have a big risk. So where am I getting shot exactly? Yeah. Here? Really? That's okay? It ends right there. In, in, in this business, it's black or white God. because you have to save the lives. This is not heavy duty. <laughs> We cannot work in the other way. One, 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 two, three, boom! And you feel, you release your breath after the shoot. Okay. okay? One, two, three, boom! Yeah, okay, that's all. Okay. <laughs> because that's all, all the muscle, no more. Oh, if that's I, just muscle? Yeah. But if, it, but if it goes through there, we have a bit of a problem, right? Because a bunch of organs and shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Be cool, my friend, yeah, be yeah, cool. Man, I look cool. I can't not be cool in this jacket. It is fair. I wonder if it's waterproof. Oh, you like that with the collar up a little more, huh? That's a revolver. We've been told that Miguel here is uh, the world's premier bulletproof tailor. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of bullshit in advertising, so we're going to take it for a test ride. The munition. Okay. Uno, dos, <laughs> tres. Come on here. A little to sneak attack the there, huh? Very clever. <laughs> That's only nothing? Nothing. You feel something like this, yes? Yeah, wasn't bad, man. Oh. My knee is shaking. That's for you. <laughs> this is a souvenir. Oh, my souvenir. Look <laughs> He's at that. Him, you know? That's what he just shot me with. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> that didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. So that's the bullet, that's and that's how it ends up. That's fucking crazy. He did the pediatrician trick, like when you go to get a shot when you're little, and he's like, I'm three, I'm gonna stick you. And you go, one, two, and then he sticks you. He did that to me, just now. And it worked. 